Okay, good morning guys, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you're watching this, we're going to uh, wrap the hood of this Macan here. Okay, so I've got the film laid on the car. One of the first things I do is trim off this excess. Well, I actually get it to where I have, maybe if I pull it a little bit, I'll have an inch hanging off this corner here. So I wanna take and trim this, I don't wanna trim too much of it. And when I get around here, I don't want to trim it all the way around. I want to, because I'm going to have to pull and stretch this, so I'm going to bring it up about like that. And this will give me something to work with over here when we, when we start stretching it. But see how it helps that film relax a little bit there? Do the same thing. And again, I don't want to don't want to trim off too much, so I'm going to grab it and bring it up right about here. Put that there. So now, when I go to pull this, I won't have to be fighting that film going up the, up the windshield. I'm going to wet the top of my film. I'm going to wet under here. I've mixed my slip a little bit slippier than I normally do. So I don't want to end up on these ridges here with a bunch of adhesive disturbances when I'm pulling this. Regardless whether you're doing a three-piece kit or you're doing it one piece like this, it's still a tough install and there's still a lot of stretch that you have to account for. Just want to make sure you're good and soaked up here. And when you're lifting your film, you don't want to jerk it up real quick. That creates a really big vacuum, a really quick vacuum. I always like to lift and spray at the same time. I'm going to flood this area here. Really get a lot of moisture down in there. Don't want this stuff sticking. I want it to flow real nice. And this will be the second time I've done this style of install. There's another gentleman, uh, I don't remember his name, I can't, so I don't know how to give him credit, but he, uh, he posted a video on his install and he tacked down here first. So I'm gonna do that again. And uh, see where this goes. What I did is there's a point here and a point here and that's where I tacked. Let me grab my, my hot. We call it hot or you can call it tack. Um, this has got eight, uh, eight ounces of 91% rubbing alcohol. And then I fill it up to about here with hot water and then the rest with cold water out of a, out of a uh, machine, uh, giving me some nice warm tack solution. So I'm just gonna spray this under here a little bit. And I just wanna get a little stretch in it there and get it tacked down. So we'll tack it right on this corner here and just on the very edge is where I want to get it tacked down. I want, don't want to have a, a big line in this big stretch line. So this will allow me to have a little more area to pull. Does that make sense? Get it right to here. Okay, that looks pretty good. So, uh, got my nice warm tack solution. I've got a couple of essential tools, I think, for big hoods like this. Uh, this is called a, a hand tool or a handy or a hand job. This one's not from Fusion. This one's actually from 
Dirty Tools Mike Sanchez. This is a Fusion 5. Got Fusion uh, Orange Crushes in both of them. Allows me to get a lot of force uh, when I'm laying the film. When I'm squeezing the film, I get a lot of force out of these. So, we've got both these handy. The, the one with the handle allows me to uh, reach out into the center. So the first thing I'm gonna do is come back here and I'm gonna pull this back this way. And it's gonna kinda look ugly at first. I'm gonna make sure I've got slip on top. Put just a little more slip down in here, just for precautions. We're gonna give this a little pull up this way here. So Got a nice pull there, and you can see it's kind of pulling against the against this A pillar here. But I'm going to try to lock it to that A pillar, and I want to try to lock it to the door. I don't want to get it locked onto the panel. But as I'm doing this, I need a little more tack down here. As I'm doing this, I'm I'm pulling down here, and in this part here, I'm pulling it back. And uh, so I'm, I'm basically stretching this portion out along here. And I'm locking it to the door and to this little, uh, tiny little fender piece down here. All right. Move to the other side. Here you'll be able to see, I believe a little better, what I'm doing. Like I said, this is gonna look kinda ugly before it starts to look pretty. Get some good slip in there. Make sure this is all, all nice and loose. There we go. Give it a little stretch like so. Test it out. What I'm doing is I'm looking at what I've got going on here with my film. So I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna spray this door. Spray the film, spray the fender. Again, remember I've got extra slip in here, so. We might have a little trouble getting it to, to stick without flushing it out really, really well. And you see what I did there? I did it one on the top and now I'll come back and I'll hit this bottom piece here. Get that locked. Get that wrinkle out there. We'll get this all locked down. That looks good there, looks good there. Okay, so. We may have to come back and readjust those, I'm not sure. But what we're gonna do now is work on this. And yeah, I could have taken off a little bit of this excess here, but I didn't. So um, usually what I do is I'll pop this right here. And uh, readjust that, pull it down a little bit. And I'm gonna pull this down to something here. See what happens. All right. Got that. I'm gonna lock this down here. Again, we might have to come back and and readjust this here. Get lock, get this pull. Lock this down here.
I'm gonna come over here and see if anything that I do over here is gonna affect that. Lock this down here and on the fender here. Flush away all this soap. That's locked. Okay. Adjusting this. See if I can get this locked down here. And if you want, you can try to lock it, lock it down where the uh, fins are or this opening is on the bumper down here. You can try to get it locked down there. It's a little difficult to do. Doesn't want to stay. Okay, we've got that, so we'll come back here. We've got these little bit of fingers here we have to deal with. So we can come back and readjust this down here and give it a pull back. And I'm gonna, before I pull it back, I'm gonna flush this out here, give myself another good tack. That's about all I can get out of it. right here we can deal with now we'll be able to come through and and just give that a little bit of a tug and tack that down I'm gonna go do the same thing to the other side the rest of it's all nice and <laughs> laid out it's still still all free and moving and this whole process here is takes <laughs> takes the longest. I mean, it's like preparing a cake, man. There we go. Now we got it. It's, you know, just stretching and, and reading your film, knowing what it, which way to pull it, what it's going to do. All right, so we're good there. This is going to require another readjustment here. Gonna pull that. And now we're looking, looking good now, Billy Ray. Looking good. Looking pretty good there now. Get the rest of this locked down. I don't want to leave these little fingers up because if it dries out, that's where you're going to see a, an area of disturbance. We're good. 
Everything's like glass. Pretty much got all of our wrinkles in order here, our edges and everything. So now we're gonna start in uh, squeegee and I like to go in increments. This hood really doesn't really matter a whole lot since there's so much stretch and if you have to lift this now, you're probably screwed. But uh, take my big squeegee here and since I locked this down up here, I'm gonna have to bring it all up. So I start the process of bringing it up and I'm just going to this body line here. Like so. And these squeegees are awesome because you can pull or push with them. And I'm just making sure that I've got everything going good here. No moisture left behind. Grab one of my towels. Oh, I've got one on my pouch right here. Wipe this and I'm looking in the reflection of the film at the roof, the lights, for any types of debris. You ever notice how the, you don't, you might not have any debris and then the next day you come back and there's a white speck of dust or a white speck of lint. I'll take that up that way like so. And I wanna lock this down here and keep this from lifting so come through and spray my warm tack solution in here. And I'll check it. Yep, it's locked down. Come back over here, check this. This is, this is not locked, so we'll give it a little lift here. Spray some of our warm tack. Some slip on top. that down. All right, on to the next part here. So now we're gonna work on this area right here and this area right here. So first I'm gonna work in between these sections here and get those up. Uh, probably gonna need a little more of a flexible squeegee for a lot of this. That thing's a workout, isn't it? Uh, I like to Put tack in here, because I don't want it to pop again. So I'm coming through, I'm adding it up here. And that's gonna kind of work its way down. Get that to that body line there. And then take your hand and do a hand swipe. That's not working too well, is it? Okay, got it. All right, here comes a, a, another tricky section here. We want to get this all down. We want to get this down. This is going to want to continue to pop. So what are you going to do? You're going to take your blade and you could have easily put some tape or or something on here beforehand. If you wanna ensure that you don't cut the lens of this car, I'm pretty good with a knife, so I've got faith in myself. Let me put my spectacles on here. And I'm not gonna cut right to the edge, I'm just gonna cut kind of a big opening right here. And, whoop. And I'm just, I mean, I mean, I'm barely putting any pressure. And you can see that sucker's opening up and you want to make sure you make a nice round cut you don't want to make a square or a box because that will cause your film to to tear so these nice circular cuts you'll notice on a pattern when a pattern's cut it doesn't go like that because when you're weeding it it's easier to tear it's got a little bit of a curvature to it all right now we can take our slip and i've got a little tool here that helps me get underneath there we can start putting some tack there and uh, 
get the squeegee down. And I want to make good forceful pulls on this. I don't want to pull the film forcefully, but I want to make good forceful squeegee to get this down along here. Bring this around here. And this lip right here is not that big of a deal to me right now. This is more of my concern. And I'm gonna take and lock down the rest of this edge here. So I don't get any, any kind of air wanting to come back up through here, screwing up my job. And you can use, this one's a little bit tighter of a radius. So I'm gonna use a uh, pink squeegee here. It's really, really flexible. Get this laid in here. Make sure it's good and slick. Look how nice that came out. And I work to this ridge here. Why I'm working just to the ridge here is if, if I get something up here, I can probably take and push a little bit of that moisture back up there and maybe put a little heat on it, massage it out if I get a little adhesive disturbance or something that's stuck there. But I'm not having that issue with that. And we've got this here. So I wanna make sure, always, always, always make sure that you get a good lock on these corners here. And so many times I've had issues with the corner pulling back or this edge pulling back or this edge along here pulling back. And sure, yeah, we can get it down. And most times the customer's not gonna see it unless they're really, really, really looking at it hard. But uh, if you're anything like me and you try to deliver the best product possible, you're gonna want that to stick. So I do that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm, I've got that down. And instead of leaving this up in the air like that and pulled up, I'm gonna release this so it pulls down and it'll wanna pull down and kind of stretch around that. And same with this around here. So I've got that corner is now pulling down around the corner and two things are gonna happen when I, when I go to cut this corner, it's gonna wrap really nice around that corner. And I'm not, because it's hooked on there, I'm not gonna have any problems with this pulling back or lifting back or anything. We'll work this here. That's uh, another point we'll come to in just a second. Let's see, it's kind of stuck there because of the alcohol. We want to make sure that this is all going to be loose. And now I can take my nice hand tool here with my Fusion Orange Crush and nice firm strokes bringing that down. We've got a little issue right here. So I'm gonna bring it right to that body line right here, because if we have to stretch it a little more, we can stretch right on top of that body line. And if there's gonna be a stretch mark, that body line will conceal it. This is gonna be a little difficult here. I don't wanna release the whole thing. I wanna just release this right here and get that out of there. Doing this, you run the risk of leaving a line right here because you have so much stretch in here. And I think we've been successful in not letting that happen. So we've got that there. Come over here, we'll finish this back over here. Get this down. It's already locked on this edge, so I'm bringing the solution back this way where where it's not got any, say, tension, um, but I still want to get this, this edge locked down here. I want to make sure that it's down and good. We don't want that to lift. And I want to make sure that this stays locked down nice and good. So come through here and fill that up with some tack. Go over that line there, and now we can kind of pull this down a little bit, nice and gentle-like. Tells you how slippery this stuff is right now. Go across that line and just bring it straight down. 
like that, straight down. Straight down there and here, it's all good. And again, I like to, just because I don't want this to pull back, I like to get, I want to get it over that edge there a little bit. So it's kind of got a little more to grab onto. Okay, so now we're going to work on this side over here. We'll make sure this is all still loose. We spent a lot of time on the other side there. So what I'm doing is I'm just forcing that moisture over that ridge to make sure it's not locked down. Hope you guys speak squeegee. A lot of times gravity will help you out too, but that's all loose. Make sure this is good and locked down there. And I'm gonna fill this with a little of our tack solution. We use a lot of tack on these hoods. All right. Let's uh, do our little hand swipe here. See, it doesn't always go as planned. Take my watch off there. I don't want to hook the film. Like that. So I'm using my hand and the squeegee in conjunction. There we go. And now I've got to just check for any kind of debris that might be in here. I don't want to continue on and finish this whole thing up. There's a big old piece of debris in here. Yeah, even though at this point, I know there's a big water pocket right there. I'm getting it. Even though at this point, you're just about done, but you couldn't. I don't think you could save this. Maybe on a silver car you could, but not on a, on a dark gray or this is a new color. All right, take our knife. We'll make our cut. I always want to make sure you got a fresh blade. If I lift this now, I can open that all the way back up. I don't know what I'm going to do here but you're gonna ride along with me and we'll figure it out. So I don't wanna burn all this film. So I'm gonna start here. And I'm just barely laying my knife on here. Come back around, nice circle. Back to my starting point here. All right. The debris is right there. So I want to be careful not to open this up any farther than that. I'm giving it a little little tug this way. I would say that's a paint flaw there.
And the reason why I lifted that and folded it again because I had a little disturbance there still. So I gave it a little harder stretch. And now we want to get this locked down. That was a, a paint flaw there. I couldn't see anything in the film, but I could see something in the paint. So a little paint flaw. Now we're going to get this to lay down here. And again, we're just going right over this ridge. Good and firm. It's a little too squeaky for my taste. I'm going to make sure that all the moisture is out of there. And I want to lock this down up here. So this is already hooked around this corner right here. And we've got our tack solution there. And make sure this is all squeegeed out really nice. I don't see any residual moisture or moisture or any disturbances. And I want to take this and unlock this. But you have to make sure you get this down here or else it'll lift. And I'm keeping it kind of taut. So I want this to go and hook on that right there. I'm going to push this film down here and get it to lock again back here. But now it's, it's also wrapped around that corner. So the cool thing is when you go to cut this film, it's going to be wrapped real nice around that corner, giving you a really cool seamless install. There's that. Pretty cool. We'll knock this section out here. I'm going to use my hand tool here and start pulling this down. Some little areas that it's that it's kind of locked onto the panel. There we go. All right, back to this. So we want to squeegee this down just to this body line here. Then when we pull this, we can pull in and just stretch it, and that way we don't end up with a, a slight stretch line up here. Hear that moisture that's starting to stick there? I'm scanning this and checking it all, so. There's put some of our tack up in here. See how it just wants to wick right back up in there? It's kind of weird, huh? Put that down. We know that line is locked, and now we can come back and give this a little tug, like so. And again, I like to wrap it. Get it, I want it to wrap underneath there and really have something to hold on to so it doesn't want to pull up and lift. Same thing over here. Get that kind of squeegee underneath there so it's gonna, it's gonna pull, it's gonna pull right around that corner. Little bit of our tack under here. I'll probably have to lift this because it's a little stuck there. A little pull down, not too much.
and I'm lifting this to roll it underneath. And we'll knock this area down here real quick. Spray it with our tack. Use our orange crush. Good universal squeegee. Great for PPF, great for tent. And that's it. Okay, so that's it for the Macan hood. We're gonna let it sit for about two hours, kind of dry out, and then we'll come back and, and uh, trim those edges, pop that hood.